Girls benefit from playing sports in a number of ways. It helps them academically. They're more likely to take AP classes and achieve in the classroom, have a higher GPA. It helps them build their confidence. They have healthier relationships with their peers. Many of those benefits they would achieve even if they were in a co-ed situation. I think the great thing about being at GPS is that girls are able to participate in the sports they love in an environment where they are the sole focus. Our weight room is designed for girls. They don't have to share equipment that might be intended for a football team. We talk about in training about how to overcome obstacles. So we talk about it on the, the training field, we talk about it in matches, and we also connect the dots and talk about it academically. So if they're able to overcome some of the obstacles that they're gonna face, whether it's injury or having a bad game or having a bad training session, and they can mentally focus and overcome and kind of push through those things, then they can also you know, do that in algebra for instance, and they can push through a subject that maybe they're having some trouble with and, you know, see the value, the hard work that they're going to put in academically. You know, they're students first and they're athletes second, so we're trying to make sure that they can handle everything that's related to their academics, even if they have to miss practice or come late or, or, or do whatever. We want them to do well and succeed in the classroom. Mental toughness is really important in all sports. I think individual sports it's very different because obviously you don't have your teammates out there with you a lot of times actually on the field or the court. But we've been journaling for a couple of years now and the journaling is very important because they don't really sometimes understand, it, you know, it makes them more aware of actually what they're doing. So they might write down maybe goals for the day or goals for the week or something or they might write their feelings, how they, their emotions during a match. And I think it's really important to write, to write it down. If, you know, if you don't really write things down, it's, well, it's another way of repeating you know, what you want to do. I think that at GPS, you learn to give 100% in everything that you do. We never do anything halfway. And so I think that in the classroom, I definitely learned that first at GPS. I knew it was gonna be a rigorous experience, but something that I would benefit from so much. I take the lessons of being able to fail forward in the classroom, I do that every day. I mess up, but I just keep going until I get it right. And on the soccer field, that's something that is so important because you're not gonna get it right the first time or there's no way you'll improve. I mean, as a freshman, I was the point guard of the team. You know, I have to tell people what to do. And people that are older than me, it's kind of difficult. Um, so I really struggled with it freshman year, but sophomore year, I got a good hold on it, you know? And so me finding my voice and being able to have these conversations and talk up in the classroom has helped me like transfer that over to the court and just be a better leader for my team. So three things that we're looking into when building skills, teamwork, learning how to work with other people, even when you don't understand, or even if someone is not on your physical level, that's the most important thing, sportsmanship. Learning how to, if you lose, it's okay. Confidence, you can do anything you wanna do. It may not be at the ability that you think you should be able to do it, but trying it is great. When you do something physical that's like really, really challenging, it makes you feel like you can conquer the world. Being part of sports at GPS has really helped me in so many different ways. One of them is confidence. When I came to GPS, I was a really shy person in general. And when I got here, just it was like one big family. It was really nice. Every, like Nobody cared if you were good or bad. It was just amazing. It's also helped with like patience because everybody's on different levels. And so it also helps with team building because you can't really play a sport by yourself. I've learned teamwork. We all support each other, no matter if you're playing on the field or just sitting on the bench, we all support each other. I always try to make sure to modify within reason um, what we're doing given the particular sport or whether at in their season or their competition. So straight strength training will help a lot with injury prevention. We have all female weight training bars. They have a thinner grip diameter because females usually have smaller hands and they're also a little bit lighter. Um, we also have more body weight focused training equipment um, using suspension straps which allows us to do push-ups and rows without having to use dumbbells and barbells. Strength is not just a situationally specific thing for the weight room. That confidence to be able to you know, perform and do different things that we ask them to do, uh, get stronger, can carry them on for a lifetime. 
I would say that strength and conditioning really helps us on the field and on the court as well as just in life in general. They, it really helps us stay in shape and definitely in the off season as well because um, I play softball and volleyball so I have a pretty good amount of time in between the two seasons that I really, strength and conditioning helps me stay in shape and helps me keep my game up. Our strength and conditioning program here at GPS is truly unique. We have two certified strength and conditioning specialists. We're the only school in the area that can say that, that has those two professionals that are dedicated truly to female sports. The program is designed to make our athletes faster, to make them stronger, but also to make them healthier. We know that female athletes are more susceptible to ACL injuries and other injuries as they perform in sport. And so our strength and conditioning program is designed to not just make them better at the things they do, but keep them out of the training room, keep them off the sideline so that they can play the sports that they love. Coaches at GPS are very positive. It's really nice. They always have such a great attitude and they're always looking at the bright side and finding new and different ways to help teach girls different tips and tricks about the sport they're playing. All coaches know it, uh, trust is just really important. If you, you can't really get anywhere if your athlete doesn't trust you, and they have to trust you that you're out for the best for them, not just as an athlete, but as a student as a, and as a person. And somebody mentioned to me a long time ago that girls don't really care what you know until they know that you care. And I try to remember that every day. My approach in coaching girls I've learned being here, you gotta build relationships so that you're able to build a trust. And that's the most important thing. But with the help of the girls, they're understanding, okay, Coach Jana, I get you now. Uh, I can give you a little more effort. I see that you, you truly are invested in me as a human. And so I'm gonna give you a little more as an athlete. And so that's the one thing that I value most about myself and my approach in um, growing and maturing as a coach. I was able to tell the difference between a GPS girl and a girl at another school just on how she interacted with me. At a younger age, very quickly, they seem to become very articulate, very successful in being able to represent themselves. There's uh, a certain level of maturity there that I don't see at other schools, and I think it's directly reflective of what they are asked to do in the classroom on a regular basis. I am competitive, but I really feel like it's, a, it's about the experience, um, it's, the less, it's the life lessons we've learned, it's about sportsmanship, it's about all the things that we want to be as a person. Our coach not only encourages us to work hard on the field, but he knows that the discipline comes, it starts up here in the classrooms, and then you bring it down to the lower fields. We have to work hard in every aspect in order to be successful. GPS has definitely prepared me to be able to talk to coaches and one way specifically is like forming an email and like so I can email these coaches and before I came to GPS I had no idea how to write an email and like I don't feel scared to like ask them questions about the school or ask them about their program because my, my, my coaches and my teachers have like prepared me for conversations like that whether it be with a coach from a college or going in for an interview for a job or anything like that like I feel prepared to go and talk to people that are older than me and have more experience than me.